Another essential set of skills the organic chemistry student should possess is an understanding of stereochemistry, which is the study of the spatial arrangements of atoms found within molecules and the effect these three-dimensional arrangements have on chemical and physical properties of molecules. Thus, the student should have an understanding of stereochemical principles, and we will begin to develop these concepts with the fragrant compound limonene. While the two molecules on the board have the same gross connectivity, the atoms are arranged differently in space, which we call stereoisomers. This is clearly demonstrated after we mentally fold the two-dimensional Lewis structures into three dimensions. Here we see that they are actually mirror images of each other and that they are non-superimposable. In fact, only two groups can be overlapped at any one time, which are called a pair of enantiomers. The molecule on the left can clearly fit into the abstract receptor shown, while the molecule on the right does not fit. However, a different receptor does exist that allows the molecule on the right to fit. Interestingly, the enantiomer on the left triggers the smell of oranges within the receptors of our nose, and the enantiomer on the right triggers the smell of lemons. Thus, how atoms within a molecule are oriented in three dimensions is very important when interacting with biological systems and is worth our efforts to explore and master. To differentiate between the two similar molecules, we must use the stereochemical modifiers R and S. The first step is to identify the chiral center, an atom with four different groups attached to it, which is indicated by the arrow. Next, we assign priorities to the four groups, fold the molecule into three dimensions in our mind, and mentally rotate the group of lowest priority to the back. Then imagine an arrow starting with highest priority to lowest. The clockwise arrow means the stereochemical modifier is R. Alternatively, if we use the hand method, we see that the fingers will curl in the direction from highest priority to lowest priority for only the right hand, which matches the stereochemical modifier R.